Hello guys, Smooth Razor once again. I'm sorry I've not been able to upload for a while. I've just been a bit busy recently. So today as we can see on the screen, wind push or needle. I'm going to be talking about um, the preferable loadout I like to go for in certain matchups. Also I have any one because there are some um, characters that you can fight with any loadout for Jin. I'm also going to give you guys the reasons why I feel um, a character is placed in either wing push, needle or anyone. So now without wasting time, let's get into the video. The first character I have here is Shang Tsung. On my list is Shang Tsung. Now Shang Tsung can punish needle consistently with um, the ground eruption which comes out in 15 frames. So if you're fighting against a Shank player that has the ground eruption, I would suggest I would suggest you use um, wind push. Because wind push is a lot easier to keep yourself safe. And also if they run ground eruption, that means they have a zoning um, based Shang Tsung. So you're gonna also gain from wind push in the neutral to really annoy the Shang Tsung player. But if you're fighting a Shang Tsung that goes for the more aggressive style of um, Shang, that is using Emac in as a replacement for um, the um, ground eruption. Emac um, cannot punish Nidu, so in that type of loadout, you would benefit from um, Nidu because you will get a lot of cheap damage on the Shank player that they cannot punish. So it honestly depends on the matchup. If they go for the more aggressive Shank that lacks ground eruption to punish a Nidu, then you could go push. But if they go for the Emac loadout, then you could go um, needle, so it really depends on you. I do feel both versions can work against Sheng. It depends on what you want to do against him and the loadout to go for. Now the second character I have on my list is um, Shao Kahn. Now Shao Kahn, we all know he has a nice charge um, that is good for punishing needle. So personally, I do not like to play the flawless blockable um, mind game against very good players because if you flawless block, if you amplify Nido, you could get flawless block up to. At the same time, if you do not amplify against Shao Kahn, you could, you would get hit by Shadow, right? Why I um, prefer to go push against Shao? Uh, Shao doesn't have really good zoning, so you can really really annoy Shao Kahn in the neutral. Together with the fact that um, Shao Kahn really struggles in punishing push, and uh, an amplified push is safe without the risky mind game of getting flawless blocked um, up to. So that we have Shao Kahn in push. The next character I have on my list is Frost. It depends on what you want. You can use any loadout against Frost because Frost sucks at punishing Nidu. Only, for instance, you cancel off um, strength like the back 1121 into the Nidu. In such a situation, at times Frost could do a micro dash up down for a sweep to punish, and that's really really bad punish. And it's one that's really hard for her to get. For instance, a back um, to Nidu, Frost can't punish that. So you can really take that to your advantage and chip her out with the Nidu. At the same time, going for push um, gives you better options to like as counter zoning to like use as a reversal tool. It honestly depends on you. I believe both loadouts can do well against Frost. The next character I have here is Nightwolf. I placed Nightwolf in push because he has um, a charge. A shoulder charge move that punishes um, Nidu. So to, to to like keep yourself on the safer side and prevent playing the risky mind game, I really like um, using push against Night Wolf. Also consider the fact that Night Wolf has a lightning arrow, right? And for instance, you, in a situation whereby you block a lightning arrow and try to reverse out with the, um, the crossbow which you have in the needle loadout, at times they get the second arrow out and you guys trade. Which in the trade isn't in your favor because Night Wolf does better damage. So also because of that, I just like push because it's a better reversal option against Night Wolf's lightning arrow. So now let's move on to the next character, which, which is Joker. Now, Joker's um only way to punish Nidu on block is a dash up standing too. And the thing about that is that he can only do it in um rare situations whereby you end. For instance, you do a very close back one to one needle. A good Joker can do a slight dash up standing two to punish you. But honestly, Joker really struggles to punish needle in a lot of situations. At the same, on the other hand, if you go push, you're gonna have a better time um, keeping Joker out or like really annoying them in the neutral. So it honestly depends on you. I do believe both loadouts can do well against Joker. 
Now I'll move on to the next character which is Johnny and I have Johnny in wind push because Johnny has a flying kick and off the popular back one to one needle, Johnny's 4-3 is a 14 frame advancing high that punishes needle on block. Although 4-3 um, cannot punish on back to needle, it just for the, just um, for the fact that he can punish you both with a with a shadow kick and the 403 already makes it really risky to go for the um needle loadouts. So I do feel the push is a lot better in this um matchup. So now I'll move on to the next character. I have Sonia. Against Sonia, you could go either ways. The only way Sonia can punish Nidu is with a dash up back one. There's only situations whereby you, you do a string like a back one one two one into needle up close. Other than that, she sucks at punishing the needle. And something else you should note that if you're a player that likes to go for, um, let's say, back to crossbow, Sonia's sweep is really good at low profiling the crossbow and um, clipping you. So you could go needle because she struggles to punish it in a lot of situations, but you could also go push to have a better um, tool for counter zoning. So it honestly depends on you. It depends on you to be honest. I feel both loadouts can do well against Sonya as well. Next I have Cassie. Cascade is a character I'm gonna put in push for two reasons. She can punish um Nido in a lot of situations with her um shoulder charge and at times her 4 2 also um gets a punish on Nido. Other than that, Cassie has a low gun shot and the, go the you're gonna be a, you're gonna have a lot of um, instances whereby the gunshot low profiles your crossbow, so that is really really annoying. So other than the crossbow, which can be low profiled by the um her gunshot, I do prefer the push to always check her in the neutral, and to also use the counter zoning too. Now I move on to the next character, which is Jax. Against Jax, I go Nidu because Nidu also has the crossbow, right? And Jax doesn't really have any good low profiling projectile to go under your crossbow. And it's also a character that cannot punish Nidu in a, in a lot of situations, so you can really get a lot of cheap damage um, out without risking your end thing. Now I'll move on to the next character, which is Spawn. Spawn is another character I like to go Nidu. Honestly, with, against Spawn, you can use any loadout, but I go Nidu because Spawn also struggles um, with punishing Nidu in, in a lot of situations, and also Spawn's projectile does um, six damage. Fujin's projectile does 6 damage. Amplified projectile do, does um, 117 for both Spawn and Fujin. So trading isn't really bad and he, he struggles to punish Nidu. So I do feel Nidu is my preferable choice against Spawn, although it could go either ways. Now I have um, Scorpion. Against Scorpion, you should go with Wind Push because um, strings cancelled into crossbows on block. Um, a good scorpion can always teleport on a read if they believe you're gonna do a string into a crossbow. Other than that, crossbow is really risky in the neutral because of a reactionary um, teleport. And if you do a back 1-2-1 one, one into the needle, a scorpion can punish with a back 2 for a full combo. So the fact that he can punish needle at times with a back 2 and the fact that crossbow is really unsafe in the neutral, I just like to play it safe and go push. You also have a very good tool to check him in the neutral that they can't react to with the teleports. Now I'll move on to the next character which is Noob Cybot. For Noob Cybot, um, you could go either ways to be honest. Um, personally, I prefer push. Why? Because Noob Cybot's slide can low profile for Jean's crossbow that's in the needle loadout. Other than that, there are a lot of situations whereby Noob Cybot can use his 15 frame back 3 to punish um, Nido on block, which is minus 15. So Noob Cybot can punish you, slide low profiles the crossbow, and also just to be safer against him, because he cannot punish um, even the unamplified push. So to be safer against Noob Cybot, um, have a tool that slide doesn't low profile. And to also just check him in neutral, I'd really like to go push against Noob Cybot. So we'll move on to the next character, which is Baraka. Against Baraka, Nido is the go to loadout, but if the Baraka runs a blade charge, um, blade charge can always punish Nido, so that um, puts you in a situation whereby you have to play the risky mind game of amplifying it and getting flawless block up to. But if they do not have um, blade charge equipped, I believe against Baraka you should go Nido. If they have the blade charge, um, go push. 
to be on the safer side. So I'm going to put Baraka in any loadouts, it depends on what they have and what you really want to do in the matchup. For raiding, I like to go Nidu, because raiding sucks at punishing Nidu, so I can really abuse that. Get the free cheap damage out and he can't do anything about it. You could also go push, it depends on you, but honestly, personally, I just feel Nidu does quite well against raiding. As long as you're, ca you're careful while shooting out the crossbows, so, you do not get, um, so they do not get to teleport on you. For Jackie, um, I'm gonna go push. I'm going push because Jackie has a dash punch to punish Nidu. Other than that, um, I do feel push does really well in checking Jackie in the neutral. Push checks Jackie in the neutral. You can zone her out, out a bit and stuff like that. And you can keep yourself safe without risking anything with push. Move on to the next character which is Sub-Zero. For Sub-Zero, I do feel push is the go-to version. Sub-Zero has a slide that can low profile crossbow. So cancelling um, strength into crossbow is safe. Crossbow is also unsafe in the neutral because of the amplified ice ball and regular ice ball which and also the slide which can low profile it and coming to the needle um he can always punch needle with the slide so why i like push is that push gives you a way to reset um push sub zero back in a safe way and you also push him out of the um four to a back to the range other than that push is really really good at, as a reversal tool against sub zero's ice ball so if you block an ice ball you can reverse him with a push and prevent um, him from getting the second ice ball out. So now I'll move on to the next character which is Kano. Against Kano I would say push as well because Kano has the bio biomagnetic pull and the ball roll which, both, which can punish um, both moves but you can make the push um, safe without the risk and you can also ha um, harass the Kano player a bit more with push although you could go Nidu it could also work really well but I do feel push is a better loadout to go against Kano. The next character I have on my list is um, Kabao. You can use any loadout against Kabao and do fine. But personally, because Kabao struggles to punish the Nidu, I do feel you're going to get a lot of mileage out of that. You could um, get a lot of Nidu on this block, chip him out slowly. Also, the um, crossbow is a really high projectile, so it anti-airs um, Kabao's jump. A lot of times, you're going to anti-air Kabao's um, jumping with the crossbow, so those are the reasons I feel. The needle is the go back loadout for Cabal. Now for Liu Kang, I like to go push. We all know he has a flying kick, so to punish the needle. And the push, he can make it safe without risking anything. Other than that, Liu Kang's low um, fireball, low profiles crossbow. So I really hate when I shoot the crossbow and get low profile with, with um, a low fireball. Other than that, the cross and the push gives you a better tool to counter zone and to use as a reversal after blocking a fireball. So now move on to the next character which is Kitana. For Kitana, I do feel push is also nice because Kitana has a low fan that can low profile the needle and the push gives you a better tool for counter zoning. Other than that, you can keep yourself safe because she struggles to punish push. And um, Kitana's ass move can punish Nidu in a lot of situations, although not all situations. It honestly depends on you, but really in the situation of the low fan, I do feel push would do a lot better against the low fan than a high crossbow which um, she can low profile. Now the next character I have on my list is gonna be Kun Lao. Against Kun Lao, I feel Nidu is a go to loadout for two reasons. Kun Lao struggles to punish the Nidu. Also, the crossbow is a really high projectile. So you're going to anti-air Kung Lao players jumping a lot with um, the crossbow. Now I'll move on to the next character. The next character I have on my list here is Jade. I do feel push is the go-to against Jade. Why? Usually in the um, needle loadout, um, once Jade has a glow activated, you're back to amplified Skywalker and crossbow is going to go through her. But um, when push hits Jade in her glow, so that is a really really big um, game changer. Also you can amplify the push on block to keep yourself safe without risking the mind game of getting Flores block up too. And also you, in these characters, I'm not going to talk too much on all because they are going to be um, written walls popping up on the screen as you've been seeing. Now I'll move on to the next character which is Robocop. Um, 
Honestly, against Robocop, it depends on what you want. Personally, I would go Nido against Robo because he cannot punish Nido. She can get free cheap damage out of that, and there's nothing they can do about that. As long as you, you are careful while using the crossbow so he doesn't get um, the low projectors on you, I feel Nido does really well against him, but you can go either way as well. Next, I have Scarlet. The only way Scarlet can punish um, Nido is with her sweep, which is a 15 frame um, low, and Nido is minus 16. But I do feel um, the wind push does a lot better against Scarlet in my opinion because she's a pretty slow zoner so you can really um, shut down her game plan if you have the push, you reverse her projectiles, hit her out of the anim um, starting animations of zoning, keep yourself safe without her sweeping you and just stuff like that. I feel the wind push does better against Scarlet. Now I have Aaron. For Aaron I would go Nidu. Because Aaron cannot punish the Nidu, only unless you do it at point blank ranges. So you can get a lot of cheap damage out, stuff like that. So I do feel um, Nidu is the better loadout against Aaron, although you can use anyone, but this is just my personal opinion. Now I have Devora. Honestly, for Devora, it depends. Devora struggles at punishing Nidu, to be honest. But if you do not want to have the crossbow, um, which maybe in some situations they could get um, a teleport punish on your crossbows, then you could go push. On the other hand, if you want to have um, free chip damage without getting punished, you could go Nidu. And the Vora players do like to jump a lot as we know, and crossbow is good at anti airing jumps. So for that reason, personally, I'm going to have a year. But also, also to be honest, push also does really really well. So just for that, I'm going to put Devora in anyone, both loaders do well against her. Now I have Kotokon. Against Kotal, personally, I like to go Nidu because he cannot punish it and I can get good cheap damage out of that. And also zone maybe to crossbow. Both variations can work, but I feel this variation does better against Kotal in my opinion. Against Shiva, it honestly depends. The only way Shiva can punish Nidu is with a dragon charge, back 4-3. Although it's a really used move, I do feel um, that's the only way to punish um, Nidu with Shiva. So you can really get a lot of cheap damage on Shiva. But you, at the same time, you could also go the push loadout if you want to have a better escape too, which is the flying kicks. For instance, if Shiva does a stomp, you can flying kick out of there. So both loadouts can work against Shiva, but in my personal opinion, Unless the Shiva player has a dragon um, charge to punish Nidu, I feel Nidu is a go to loadout. But for the fact that both can do well against her, I'm gonna have Shiva in anyone. Now, the next one I have is um, let's see, on my list I have Rumble. For Rumble, I'll go Nidu all the way. He struggles to punish it. But do be careful in the Nidu loadout because Rumble has um, nice low profiling projectiles that can um, low profile your crossbow so as long as you watch out for that you keep getting um cheap damage out of him with Nidu. i do feel need does a lot better against rumble now i'll move on to the next character which um the terminator against terminator i do feel Nidu is the best loadout you zone him out a bit to crossbow chip him out um with Nidu. he can't punish that i do feel um Nidu is the go-to loadout against rumble although the push can also do well but i feel Nidu is a bit better Against Gyrus, it honestly depends on you. Both loadouts um, do well against Gyrus. You can always punish any blocked sand trap with um, a wind push. Uh, at the same time, Gyrus struggles to punish Nidu in a lot of situations. But he has his down back to the big fist to punish Nidu and the wind push. But it's not really easy to get that out. So against Gyrus, honestly, I would say any lo loadouts can work. It depends on what you're looking for and just how you want to play the matchup. So now the next character I have here on my list is um Collector. Against Collector, both loaders can work. But be please beware that Collector can punish Nidu with um, standing 4-4. As long as you're in um, Collector's 4-4 range, that can punish Nidu. And considering the fact that um, Collector is a slow character, I like to use push a lot and frustrate them in the neutral. The same with um, Noob Cybot, also a slow character, so push um, can really annoy such characters in the neutral. 
The next character I have here on my list is Sindel. To be honest with Sindel, it depends. Sindel struggles, um, Sindel cannot punish both Needle and, um, the push on Amplified. So, if you want to, like, annoy her with push, you can go to push loadouts. If you want to get free cheap damage, you can go need loadout. So against Sindel, I do feel anyone can work well. Also, to counter push, um, if you want to counter her low screen, push does well. But that does not mean the needle loadout um, loses seriously against Sindel. It just depends on how you play it. So I feel both loadouts can do well against her as well. For Melina, for Melina um, it depends who you want to use against Melina. If the Melina player has a low Psy, I would recommend you go push because the low Psy is going to low profile your crossbows. If the Melina player does not have the low Psy equipped, um, I would say go Nidu because the only way she can punish Nidu is if you cancel off a string that leaves you close enough for her to do a um, dash up forward one punish. So I would say against Melina, anyone, it depends on what they pick and what you want to do in the matchup. Now I have Cetron. You can use any loadout against Cetron. You can use push if you want to disturb um, her rock tosses and stuff like that. On the other hand, Cetron also struggles at punishing Nidu. The only punish you can get on Nidu is um, a natural barrier and at times if you're out of natural barriers range, there's no way she can punish Nidu so it depends on what you really want to do. On also, the Needle Loadout has a crossbow, and crossbow is really good at answer airing Cetron out of her air on um, fire move. So both loadouts can work against Cetron. I honestly feel it depends on what you want to do in that matchup. Yeah, I think that's right. Now move on to Fujin. I'm gonna put Fujin in anyone because it's a mirror match. Then finally, um, but not the least, I have Rain. Against Rain, um, Rain struggles at punishing Needle to be honest. So you can get a lot of cheap damage out of that. Um, I do feel because of that I would like to go Needle against Rain. Although push isn't really isn't bad at all, but I would like to go Needle against Rain. So now that's that for this list, guys. Let's cross check again and see if every character is placed properly. Yeah, as I said, it depends on the loadouts. Joker. It depends. I do feel this is quite okay. So guys, that is all for today. Wind push on Nidu, which is the favorable, uh, preferable loadouts to go to. So this is what I have here. I hope it's, um, this video is helpful to you guys. And I hope my explanations and um, short writings on each character helps you make the best decision when, faced, when you are in a situation where you need to face any of these characters. Once again, smooth razor. Stay smooth. Um, have a nice day. I will see you on the next video. Yeah.